Rock. Good afternoon to our fellow kings and queens. Welcome back to another episode on the Bowtie Sports Podcast, where we discuss the week's current and highest trending topics in the sports world. I hope you all are doing well. Fellas, how are we feeling today? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I'm doing cool. I'm, doing cool. Myself. I'm overcoming COVID. Still fighting. Well, yeah. Like, like a real better. champ. Like a real yeah. champ. Over it. We're going through yeah. it, but hey. Thank you, everybody, for keeping us in your prayers. Thank you for all the good messages yeah. and everything else. How about yourself, Dre? Oh, man, I can't be better. I feel, I'm feeling feeling yeah. good. You know, I'm ready to get down on this show, talk about these Chiefs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, talk about these Chiefs. You know, talk about the the, the lackadaisical uh, performance from uh, uh, Mahomes. Um, so. yeah. We got a lot of stuff to get into today. We got the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. We got Kyler Murray, uh, Bryce King Parker, Kyler. So. Yeah, all of them, guys. So we're going to go ahead and kick off this episode discussing the Chiefs versus the Broncos, week 14 in the NFL. That game ended in a 34-28 to victory for the Chiefs. I know Hintz has a lot to say. I know Dre got a lot to say. So I'll let you guys take it. Go ahead and I'm going to get a recap if you guys missed it. Today, one of the most heated rivalries in pro football. It's the Chiefs and the Broncos. Mindset game. How are you going to attack this game? When we get on the field, we dominate. They're down for the Chiefs. They're 0 for 2 on third down. Leading 6 to nothing. They have third and 2 at their own 44. Mahomes being pressured. Moves to his right. They're coming from behind him. Slings it to McKinnon at the 40. Batman loves this stadium. Touchdown. It was an underhanded shovel at the right boundary for a 56-yard touchdown. They were all over him. And he just slings it. Third and five at their own 34. Wilson out of the shotgun, center of the field. Carlotas comes on a rush, and Wilson will get sacked again. Third time in the game, it's Chris Jones. His 11th sack of the year. Second and goal to go for the Chiefs at the 10 yard line, leading 13 to nothing. And a screen pass right side to McKinnon inside the five. He dives for the end zone. It's Summersholtz. Touchdown, Jarek McKinnon. His second touchdown reception in as many drives. A play action fake. They're going to throw it. Now the pass is intercepted off the tip. Willie Gay Jr. Touchdown, Kansas City. The defense gets the pick six by Willie Gay Jr. And the Chiefs add a defensive touchdown to the mix. The Chiefs had a 27-0 lead. And now the Broncos have 20 one and answer points. Go, we right back on go, go. They're down, goal to go for the Chiefs at the Ford. Mahomes turning right, now left, spinning, trying to keep the play alive. And fires it at the back of the end zone. Call Juju Smith Schuster. Touchdown, Kansas City. Mahomes kept the play alive. Spinning, turning, looking. Third down and two. Chiefs lead 34 28 at five minutes to go in the game. Griffin hands out, wants the ball. Looks right, now turns left, wants the check down, not there. Now he's hit as the ball flies up into the air, and the Chiefs intercepted. Legereus Steve at his own 25 and goes down there. Chris Jones got the hit on Rippon as he tried to throw the ball. It flew up in the air, and the interception by Legereus Sneed. Two minutes to go in the game. A first down within the game for Kansas City. Three tight ends. Pacheco up the middle, cuts it left, 40, runs over a defender, now two. Pacheco drives, he's got a first down, he gains 11 yards. Pacheco, one of the toughest runs the Chiefs have seen in the Andy Reid era. And the Chiefs can go to a knee and they're going to get out of here with a 34-28 to victory. Go, Dre, what you got for us? What up, what up, what up? I'm going to go off and say this, man. Uh, it was great, a great game, but I didn't see how the why you know I me mean, the the defense was letting the the Broncos back in the game, man. It, it was it was it was crazy for me uh, to to see. Uh, so with that said, man, the Chiefs still play came out there and played a good game. We played a great game. We played everything uh, you know like we supposed to do, but it was a division game. You know what I mean? It was a division game, a, a division robber. Uh, and them, them games is are, are are mainly always tough, but but this will actually happen though, you know, to the Broncos. That's fine. Russell out That's there fine. in the middle of the 
the middle of the got caught in the tunnel. He's still out here doing Rocco's country. Leave Russell alone. <laughs> He's still out here less riding. I don't it, man. But listen, but listen, but let me break it down. What we you, you want to dog Russell? I mean, mm-hmm. you look at the Russell, he was what? Let's break it down real quick, right? Russell 23 from 36, 247, three touchdowns and one pick with a passer rating of 100. Now, he was riding. They was riding. Now, he, um, he, was, he, was. he rushed for like, he rushed for, 40, for 57 yards against that Chiefs second, the front seven. Mm-hmm. He was riding. Mm-hmm. He was riding. So, mm-hmm. looking at the game, uh, like my biggest takeaway from the game from Kansas City is Andy Reid and y'all, y'all got to stop letting up in the fourth quarter in the second half of the right. game. You let these boys about to come in and upset y'all, man. And that credit to the mental, the mental uh, ability for Kansas City, man. The mentally down down the stretch, they always been doing that. She's been ha- she's been doing this for years. It's the mental it ain't about the, the the scheme and everything like that. It's the mental. Like mm-hmm. they get too ahead, they said they feel like we up. Like these teams can't come back. Like these are still NFL teams, NFL players. You know, like you can't, you know, you can't have that be laxed when it comes to playing this game. But now nah, Russell Road, man, Russell balled out. Jerry Judy balled too, man. And like I said, like like people would tell me, well, Drake, they have rookies. That's why the Chiefs are getting beat because they have rookies. I don't want to hear that, bro. It's on the week 14. I want to hear that rookie mess. They they just getting beat. They can't cover. I don't want to hear that rookie mess. They just, just can't cover. This is what actually happened there. <laughs> 14 <laughs> years straight of the Chiefs beat the Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Hey, but you know what? Hey, with that being said, though, but with that being said, it just I know the Chiefs been dominating, right? The Chiefs dominated the Broncos for years, right? That's Russell Wilson on the ground. But listen, though, but listen, the Chiefs had to understand like the, the bigger picture is that front seven has to play a whole lot better. Chris Jones and Clark. Now, nah, I ain't worried about Chris Jones because he gets double teamed, right? Clark mm-hmm. has to step up, the rookie has to step up, Saunders had to step up, man. Um, that's their weakness right now, is they front. They uh yeah. the defensive line they weakness right the linebacking core look great the secondary core is below average but they decent but they only as good as a defensive line the defensive line is horrible it's horrible for real because you can't get if Chris Jones is your only guy y'all gonna lose in the playoffs just off the rip because y'all take him out then what. Well, I, I don't think uh, Mr. Schemes or Mr. Coach Tillman got his facts right because the Chiefs are number four in um, sacks in the league. So, uh, so how like like – so, coach. So, you know, Coach Coach Tillman, uh, yeah. I don't understand. You said that they the only person they have is Chris Jones. But, again, they lead the league. I mean, they got – they fourth in the lead in sacks. So – so what that means? Better than they was last year. Last year they was 29th. But, but can they stop the but listen, but can they stop the run? Yeah, they stop they, they lead the lead and stop it they second But can they the stop the run? Russell Wilson was four for fifty seven rushing, bro. Russell Wilson yeah, under pressure. Go back and watch the game. Under pressure, right. Under but why pressure. can they but why the can they run. stop him? Why wasn't he stopped? Jerry, you just you just had your facts right, sir. No, no, listen, listen though. Why why you, wasn't he stopped, bro? Away. No, but why wasn't he stopped though? Y'all let Russell have a hundred yards, a hundred, a hundred passer rating, right? A hundred passer rating. Let that sink in your spirit. A hundred passer rating against your your guys. Joshua Williams keep getting beat. I don't know why you hopping this dude up. Reed's horrible. He's horrible. McDouble if, playing if, ball. Sneeze playing ball. Leave your comments in there for Coach Tilly. Sneeze playing yeah. ball. Sometimes, He's sometimes one of the best blitzers. You know, because go to the stretch. Hold on now. If you're watching, everybody, if you're watching right now, go ahead and comment. Please comment you know, because I'm about, comment. Turn, I'm about to turn into, into this about. tomahawk. You so listen, Bowden is playing lights out football. One of the best linebackers in the league. Gage just came back. He's fast and he's elusive. But y'all secondary is below average. It is. It ain't. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hints. Now, don't, don't, don't go here talking about y'all phenomenal in the secondary. 
Are y'all phenomenal in the secondary hints? Are y'all phenomenal quiet, in the secondary? Quiet, quiet, are y'all quiet. phenomenal in the secondary? Quiet, quiet, quiet. We, we, we are we are phenomenal in the secondary. Bro. No, y'all not. Stop oh, saying that. Stop, I stop like, lying. I feel like that. Trip McDuffie out there lot of people. Guys, I apologize. I apologize, guys, because this is a real life Chiefs fan that doesn't understand logic. You know, the logic is off. Look, look, the guy, the guy, the, the coach Tillman, he said first, he said, guys, that's what he said. He said the Chiefs ain't don't know they need the only, only person they have is Chris Jones, but they lead, they fourth in the, in the lead in sack, though, right? But um, then he said, then he go on and said the Chiefs don't know ain't stopping the run. But again, you go and look, the Chiefs are third in stopping the run. But and again, he said he, he also he said that the secondary, uh, you know, they they suck. Uh, what's the name? Only gave up one blown coverage <laughs> touchdown all year. What's uh, the name? He, he uh, uh, Trip McDuffie, get his name right, sir. And we're gonna be talking about him later on this show. So, but listen, also, but hence, so what, but why did Denver come back? But why did Denver come back? Twenty Nate had twenty eight points. I'm telling you, Drake. I'm trying to tell you, they came back. Okay, talk heavy, talk heavy, then talk heavy. He came back, you know. what I mean, the game was over. That's garbage time. Oh my, it's our D line. Yeah. Our corners of. Are, oh. are you sure, Omar Epps? Shout out to Omar Epps. Hey, the the corners are fine. Break it down for me, sir. What you mean they fine? Uh, we, we don't need him to break it down. We just going by talking. You can leave his comment there. But we I'm go, we go and talk about the end of the show, sir. I'm like, just saying, no, 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 no. Let's break yeah. down. We breaking it down. Your second day is fine. The corners is fine. It's been fine, sir. Can you count on your corners in the fourth quarter? Can you count on Joshua Williams in the fourth quarter? Yep. St- come on, stop. Can stop. you can't, can stop, you, it. stop it? Great, stop it. Stop it. Again, let's get back on topic. Stop it, man. Topic. No, 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 no. We are on topic, sir. Uh, again, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Free your throat. You know, it's not COVID. Know. It's not COVID. You gotta, know, you gotta know what you're talking about, sir. It's not All COVID. Right, all right, what you about for you, the dude. secondary is horrible. The secondary is horrible. Deep breath. No, I, I'm, t- I'm taking great breaths. <laughs> again, 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 skip. Skip, you got to know what you're talking about. If you got to know what you're talking about, if you don't know what Stephen you're talking about. Stephen A, Stephen A. Come on, Stephen A. I like the guy said, man. Our like, bad like in the corners. We can't get we to read it. We don't need you to read it. So, so so we we are bad, them. not the corners. <laughs> we don't we need can't get pressure with corners, so we forced it. Uh, Are we forced to bliss and leave our secondary. That's horrible. Yeah. Thank you. As, as, as you said, my point. As, as, as you said, the horrible, horrible. But you, you are here. But well, we, we fourth in the lead and and uh and sacks, sir. But y'all give it to me points. But y'all give it to me points. Too many big plays. Y'all give it to me big plays. Okay. She's ain't gave Come on. Thirty-four. Come on. Y'all give it to me big plays, bro. Y'all do. Joshua Williams he says, but down. And he says, but they keep getting beat. So, on again, six foot four. Okay. Can't on, cover. That note, on that note, fellas. He can't cover a cold. Yeah, we got we to gotta move on, Dre. We got to go no, ahead and get will. the Chiefs versus the Texans. Let's go All ahead right. and move on. Let's, get let's go it. ahead and get the uh, – let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and talk about uh, what's happening with the Chiefs versus Texans. Let's go ahead and watch that video. Let's see. The most amazing four days of Kingdom history was the fact that we were able to get Andy Reid and everything changed within a week. The Kansas City Chiefs have won the AFC West in 2016. It was good for me because I had perspective of time in the wilderness. The Chiefs have won the AFC West title, winning the division back-to-back for the first time in franchise history. To be able to be two and 14 seasons uh, thinking that the franchise is going nowhere Your Kansas City Chiefs are the AFC West champions again. Could we be someday like the Patriots and the Steelers or successful teams over time? We become that. We become that. They've done it for a sixth consecutive year. That has never happened in the history of the AFC West. Sometimes I didn't think I'd get this chance, but I kept fighting uh, and kept grinding and thinking maybe someday. All right. So the title is on the line, guys. The Chiefs mm-hmm. win Sunday versus the Texas. Yeah. The Chiefs win the, the AOC championship once again. Mm-hmm. Once again. Once again. And I got once Texas. Again. So, so let again. me let me dive into this one again. again. All right. Once so, again after that. 
in the game after that. <laughs> I'll put it like I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. this. Come on with it. I'll put it like this. The 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 Broncos, the Raiders, the Chargers, they didn't spend all that money to be one man, one team, and one team only. And where are they? Raiders suck. Come you know what I mean? Texas, Chargers, the Chargers suck. I'm talking about we talking about division title. That's what's on the line. No okay. matter. Well, that's, that's what I said. The, 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 division title, the division title is on the line. If the, if the Chiefs win this Sunday, mm -hmm. right, Greg, mm -hmm. they win the title for the right. seventh time again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For the seventh time. That never have been done in a uh, AOC, you know what I mean? Besides right. Tom Brady in New England and them. The best you know quarterback they, in the game. You know I mean, they, they did it over and over <laughs> again. But again, like I said, um, the Broncos, the Chargers, I'm talking about division, right? Mm -hmm. All Absolutely. those guys spent all that money, Dre. You know they did. All that they money did. they paid Russell Wilson to get nothing out of Russell Wilson. That's facts. And they and they paid all that money to uh, uh for the uh Chandler Jones and everybody else ain't got nothing out of the Raiders defense. No, they paid all that money, they paid all that money for the Broncos defense, uh, for their pass rusher from the Cowboys, ain't got nothing out of him. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like the Chargers paid all that money for CJ Jackson, and where is he? Mm -hmm. Cleo Mack. Have you heard his name all year? I'm mm -hmm. just saying, like, he paid all this money for all these people, and, and everybody got on Chiefs' case saying they let go Tyreek Hill. They wasn't not gonna beat nothing. Where are they? All right. Well, let's, 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 let's dive into a fact, a, a Texans fact, real quick, right? This is a Chief. Guys, I want y'all to pay attention, all right? This is a juicy fact right here. Now, this is, is this is nice. A Texas right? fact. Well, let's hear the Texans. Now, listen, check it out, though. It says the Chiefs are six and five all time against the Texans, right? Including one, on, like, one and one with Patrick Mahomes under center. Houston is one of the seven, one of the seven teams who does not have a losing record against Mahomes. And uh, who was a quarterback, sir? I'm just saying. I'm who was a quarterback? Who, who was a quarterback, sir? I'm just saying. We are talking about as far as the organization, or who was a organization, organization. Who was a quarterback? Are we talking about? Are we talking about quarterbacks now? You gotta know that your facts before. You no, 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 no. I just this is a great fact. Yeah, shout to shout to Yahoo Sports. Sports. Shout out to Yahoo Sports with an awesome fact. <laughs> but you can't leave out. They, they, they had a good quarterback. They had a Deshaun Jackson. You know, not Deshaun Jackson, but Deshaun Washington. Come on with it, Hence. Come on he was with there, it. Lotion Boy. Lotion Boy was there giving massages. And so, let me ask you. He was, I, you know, he was out there. He was, he was out there getting okay. wins. But okay. other than that, you know, other than that, but what I'm saying is like this. Come on, talk. They, you know, what I mean, the Texas, they could be a good team. You know, they play hard with it. I, I never look over nobody like Dre, Coach Tillman. Like, I'm going to keep calling Coach Tillman because that's a new name. He's going to be Coach Tillman. Right. Hey, how you gonna shout out yourself? But because I, I just did, <laughs> I, boy. Oh, Dre, just stop! I go straight, straight shout out yourself. Tough love. Man, hey, it's a tough love. I mean, it's feeling because oh, the Chiefs about to get beat. Because the Chiefs about to get beat. That, 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 hey, hey, for the Chiefs, hey, it's an every given Sunday, but with okay. Mahomes and quarterback, every, every, anything is possible. All right, but, let me break this game down real quick, sir. Since you're talking about hey, your Chiefs, hey, all right. Oh, you now Pierce is averaging seventy. Pierce averaging 72 yards. He's not starting. A game, he's he's right? out the game. He's out for the game. Well, it, may be, it might be some for y'all then because y'all can't stop the run for real. Um, if you if, if look at it right now, this is my thing we can't see right now, right? This is my, I'm going to be real. Renegade, I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest. If, 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 if Mr. Game. Todd Bowe let me talk. So listen, exactly. I'm not going to say it like this. Kansas City secondary, I don't trust because you got a speecher and cook. You know, big tall corners cannot cook, cover small cook receivers. Out, out small shifty receivers. Huh? Cook is out for the game. He's out for the game. No oh, so, so, so what that means? So what that means? You mean Kansas is going to win the game? Is Kansas going to win the game? Yeah, know the facts. I mean, now we can tell you. Yeah, know the facts. Straight facts. You yeah. can't all facts. About, you can't talk about players. That's no, not no, players. no, no. Not going to do that. Hence, not going to do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, <laughs> not going to do that because what it looks like to me. Chiefs Kingdom, as your boy is trying to give y'all some excuse. Oh, listen, 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 listen. He's trying to give y'all some excuse for y'all to win the game. For y'all to win the game. He think because Cook is gone, Pierce is gone, y'all going to win the game. So I feel like you won the handicapped Texans team. Is that, is, no, is that what I'm no, saying? I, no, I'm, I'm just saying, you saying these players' names, they ain't playing. No, this is the main players that, this is the main stars in their team. Now, I ain't I going to detail about them being injured now. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you know. Okay. But what I'm saying is I this: need the soundboard. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what I'm saying is this though: you can't overlook the potential of the Texans, and they got a good a good head coach. 
Still read. So hey. shout out, shout out to D. Now, you got to understand this. Like, the Texas does have a good defense. Their defense is ranked top 10. They got top 10 defense, right? Mm-hmm. And then and, and they can and they can shock the world against Kansas City because if you look at it right now, the way these teams playing Kansas City, they plan to man up. They just man them up, man up Kansas City and get pressure on my home. Because let's let's know, let's know. Brown is not Brown so inconsistent, right? Very so, inconsistent. You talking, talking about they starting corner? They he gonna be he gonna be at, um the, your boy you like from college? Doug Stingley. Yeah. Benz, I don't know. He's not out there. He's not playing either, sir. What that was so, me? What the no, fuck? You think Kansas City got some weapons? You think Kansas got weapons like that? Said, I just said. Do you like, think Kansas City's like that? I think I think Chris Jones is supposed to be out too. You know what I mean? So Kansas City be missing a weapon. Too. But see, I didn't make no excuse for Chris Jones now. I'm not making. I'm excuse. just saying. The thing is, sir. So let's go ahead. So we got the next. What we got next on the subject? All Texas right, let's winning. go ahead and. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, I got Texas. But anyway, uh, we're gonna get in. Let's get in the Trent McDuffel versus Marcus Peters Ricky Stacks. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's go in and go talk ahead, about Greg. these two here. We're Let's talk, talk about we're it. it down. We're gonna break it down. Uh, Come on with so it. So with, with, with uh, Trip McDuffie, a lot of a lot of people um, saying is he having a better career, a better uh, starting of his career to um, Marcus Peters and uh, his rookies. But stats wise, as you can see, um, yeah, he mm-hmm. is, he is. You know what I mean? But Marcus Peters, I say, will always be that had the best. Ever rookie season of the you know what I mean in Chiefs history. You know what I mean? And she in in Chiefs history, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. because a lot of people you counting off interceptions, right? You counting mm-hmm. off everything else like that. But mm-hmm. what you see, what you see, what you see, coach. Let me break it down again, guys. The kingdom, yeah. right? Some people like Marcus Pierce, some I don't. I like real corners, real corners, right? Um, McDuffie is uh, hands hands down better than uh and I, and, I, and I and I and I give I get uh, Coach Tillman his props because he did he brought this man to my attention and, and then we, we get our if y'all guys is around you know what I mean we used to do our uh college Absolutely. breakdown a uh, draft breakdown you know we do the draft every year and Dre mm-hmm. broke this guy down he kept breaking him down he like he said he was he was up there with uh uh the boy from the Jets and the mm-hmm. guy from, Sauce Garner I, I think he playing better than the guy from Houston though. But, but you know what? The thing is, the guy from Houston is banged up right now, so we're not gonna really say that he's banged up. And the guy from Houston didn't give up, didn't give up a touchdown this season. Mm-hmm. So look at look look at it like this. Let's break it down the tape. When Mark Peters first came, right? When Mark Peters first came, y'all had the best front seven in the NFL. Houston Holly, you had him. Y'all had Poe in the middle, Derek Johnson. Y'all had y'all had some great, a beautiful front seven. That every time the quarterback steps back, only thing, only thing that Marcus Peters has to do is go for the ball, because mm-hmm. ball was coming out fast, it was coming out quick. The ball was going in the air. Just go with the ball, right? Okay, dig this though, hence. Right now, y'all pass was not as good as it was that uh, at that time when Marcus Peters was playing. Right, McDuffie is playing good football right now. He's locking guys up, holding his own. Right. So remember, there's no pressure in the middle. The quarterback got a chance to hold the ball a little longer. Now, what that means is you don't have that opportunity to go get the ball. You got to play some real serious man-to-man. You got to play some corner. You got to get dirty. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're looking at the stats right now, look at look at the yards. Yards of catch, man. 13. Pierce had 13. McDuffie, 8. Completion percentage. McDuffie, 51. Marcus Pierce, 60. Come on now. Passer ratings allowed, 86 to 97. Come on, McDuffie is a legitimate corner. We know Marcus Pierce is nothing but a playmaker. He, he's going to go get the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like Mark, McDuffie is that guy, man, and and he only he's only going to get better, man. Only going to get better. The guy yeah. is, is is a dog. Yeah, he is. You know what I mean? Like with 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 when while watching play, I'm like, dang, like ain't nobody. They don't go on his side of the field. That's what you mm-hmm. want. You want nobody. Mm-hmm. You want nobody to go. Like something like half the game, they sometimes they go on the side of the field, but not mainly. Not mainly. It's more against against you know my boy Joshua Williams. You know, even though Jerry got such a save battle, you know, I think he's gonna get better, bro. I think Joshua Williams is gonna be he's gonna get better. You know what I mean? I think Joshua Williams like I like that dog that 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 barks even though you beat me. I'm gonna still talk stuff. That's my boy. Yeah. That's my boy Joshua Williams. You know what I mean? You got to have that guy around. Mm-hmm. 
you know, with, with that said, you know what I mean? Uh, Marcus Peters, I think Marcus Peters had a better rookie year. Um, pick wise, touchdown wise, return for touchdowns. Marcus Peters was dog in his rookie year. Like, uh, and sometimes people, you know, sometimes some people play themselves and start feeling themselves. And maybe that's what he did. But or some people probably didn't understand his personality. And I think the Chiefs didn't understand Perk Marcus Peters' personality. Uh, you know, I, I like Kareem Hunt too. And then they didn't, they, uh, them, if they kept those two guys here, Chiefs would have a good secondary. Well, let me Chiefs have, have an unstoppable defense. Absolutely. I mean, unstoppable. But let me, let me let me break it down to you real quick, Hans, because I'm, I'm about to go into detail with this one. We're going to solve this debate real quick, Kingdom. But Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters. Right? One-on-one against a number one corner. Is he going to lock him down? Is he going to lock him down? Number one wide receiver. Number one wide receiver. Is he going to lock him down? Mainly, yeah. Okay. He, he, he's not thinking. If you put Trent McDuffie in that same situation, is McDuffie going to lock that guy down? It's still to be seen. No, I'm saying this. Let's say let's let's go to the fifty yard line. Both of them same question. Why, 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 Who wins why, it? Who why wins it? One, why didn't they want to put him one on one and chase it? Oh, they Which, did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So let's go there. Fifty yard line. Both of them. Who you taking? Hence, you taking McDuffie? You taking Marcus Pierce? One on one in the fifty yard line. Who you taking? One on one, I'm one taking on Marcus. One. Marcus Peters might, may, probably gonna give me the yes. ball back. Yes. I, you know, just uh, let me. I, I, that, you asked me for my opinion. You can't get uh, back to my opinion on agreeing with your uh, friends. You're right. You're right. Hey, I, I apologize. Yeah. You're right. I just don't see logic in this. You I don't see you can't the ask the question and then get mad at his answer. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just the logic, <laughs> man. The 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 detailed uh, logic. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We gotta go ahead and move on. I know you guys can keep going all day. So what are we moving on to next? He said. Let's go ahead and get into not so serious. Okay. Uh, what we got today? Hey guys, look who we have on our list today. <laughs> we have the port of the Bears on the court. Enough got hurt. Um, he's on the field and he, he was playing well with three, then something jumped up in the middle. We don't know what, but he fell and he tried to lose. He tore his ACL. This is not Colin Murray first of all, make it this guy. This is he more been injured since he's been in the league. But the but the thing is, the Cardinals paid him all this all this chains, all this dough. But he's never healthy. He's never healthy. Is it because a lot of people will say because it's his height, or is it the offensive horn, or is it the coaching style, or is it Call of Duty? We don't know. Uh, but I hope that God gets better because I believe that God is a good quarterback. Uh, he can play well. But when we're injured, it's nothing knocking. He can't do for me, and I can't watch you. Colin Murray is that guy. The guy to get it together. What do you think, Trey? This is your team, Trey. So well, I'm going to say this, sir. I'm going to say this. I'm going to play the advocate right here. Um, no, Colin Murray, um, freak accidents happen all the time on that turf. Um, you got to be careful running the ball and the type of the, the type of texture on the field. Um, you know, it's bad injury for Colin Murray to go down like that because he worth a lot of money. 
to the team and he works a lot to the organization. But uh it happens, freak accidents happen and um I take it with a grain of salt and gonna move forward, you know, but hope oh, praying for him, praying for his speedy recovery. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so scary, but this talk it is serious. Yeah, it is. Uh, Tyler Mine, they brought up the dump of truck for him. To I'm take him off throat. the field. I'm him dead in throat. <laughs> dead <laughs> throat. The dump of truck. They didn't have the regular all time. It was, the, I've seen the slowest corner of Urban Steve. Yeah, ever. <laughs> Without a dump of truck. A <laughs> <laughs> player of his size. You know, some people say it was a knack that beat him in the league, but. I, I don't know. We just have to see that. We see if his Call of Duty specs go up, then we all know what he really wants. <laughs> so, so with that said, God, if I'm going to go ahead and leave you out with that. Uh, we pray for Colin Murray to get a better uh, health status in his career. Uh, anything you want to else say, you want to say, this is your team, Drake, so go ahead and say Man, go on with that, man. Come on, man. He's just a Tonka truck. He ain't leaving no Tonka truck, man. He ain't leaving a Tonka truck. You put it in a, a, you know, a, in a, in a uh, matchbox car or the controller. What was that guy's that's the word? <laughs> Joker's wild. He doesn't care. Joker's wow, I'm out, guys. <laughs> you got jokes, bro? I was trying to talk big shot to Collarberg. It was jokes. I joke. Nigga said a mountain mean, truck. I am the Joker. I am the Joker. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, 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 nigga. Whatever, whatever, guy. You silly. <laughs> you are a silly guy. You're going to say with, with, a, with a matchbox car. <laughs> matchbox car. But no, nah, I mean, but uh, that's a bad injury. Um, um I wish I wish the best for him. For uh, Speedy Cup, for real. Because, guys, that's, that's crazy, guys. We don't. You know, we don't want those injuries, man. You know, but the way of the offense line playing for Mahomes and them, you, psh, hey, 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 I'm, I'm pulling, I'm pulling a bow tie on this one. All right, guys, <laughs> it's time to go ahead and move on into the schemes. Stick to the scheme, Dre. Yo, yo, yo. All right, let's get to the scheme, Scott. Let's break it down. Who's that first? What do you have? We are switching over to the segment of sticking to the schemes. First on our list, what we got today from Coach Tim. I can't Timmy. believe. I can't uh, believe. What we got from Coach Tim is Tyreek Hill, the top wide receivers in the league. Ooh. Justin Hill, Monte Adams. Mm. Uh, the top three right now. But on that list also is Stefan Diggs and Travis Kelsey. So let's go ahead and get to the skis. Let's man, go. First I can't, right I can't believe this man that took over my segment of the scheme. I was just you you were just took over there. my skate, my you segment. Just my, my segment of the schemes. Excuse me. Y'all are on fire. Dude. Took over my segment of the schemes. Now, nah, but uh, just be quiet, sir. I'm listen, gonna listen, you. listen, 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 listen. Justin Jefferson is playing some ball right now. But listen, guys. Even though he, he's getting the ball at a high rate, he's still productive in that offense. You see, mm-hmm. a quarterback can throw the ball all day, but can you be a playmaker when the ball's in your hands? You dig it? And mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson is, right? So the man's leading the lead. The man coming out there, he's performing well, and he's getting the job done, and he's the answer for the Vikings. You dig it? Then you got Tyreek Hill. You know, Chiefs made a bad move getting rid of Tyreek Hill. I don't care what nobody say, Kingdom. Y'all made a bad move, you know. Tyreek Kill was that guy, and he was an X factor for y'all, man. But look what he's doing in Miami. He's a playmaker. He's getting the touches, and he's performing well. Performing at a high level at that. Phenomenal talent. 
you know, being that bring it brings it back to my guy Devonte Adams, man. Um, I like Devonte, but I like Devonte. Straight to that, sir. I did because I'm trying to get to the main course of the meal. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the main course. You got 25 minutes, Ali. Oh, I'm gonna break it down for you. Hey, hey, hey! Thank you. Shout out to Tabo. Um, so listen. Devontae Adams, man, because I'm about to really break it down. Like, Devontae Adams came to Oakland, right? And all this hoorah about Daniels, the coach, and Derek Carr ain't the best quarterback. And, you know, the offensive line is this and that and the other. And you know how it is. When you go to a new team, you got to take your time and learn the playbook. You got to learn the scheme. You got to be on the same accord. You got to learn the ounces, the, the, the little details of playing the position. Playing the position. Devontae, uh, that was giving his touches. He started, off, he started off slow, frustrated because he was so used to Aaron Rodgers, right? But all of a sudden, that man hit a spark, man. That man found that rhythm. He found his groove. As we can see, guys, Devontae Adams, 1247. 1247. He's out beating Travis Kelsey. The mighty Travis Kelsey is getting a tight, beat. A, a tight end. About Devontae, shout out to Travis Kelsey. He's still considered as a rod receiver. Um, Devontae Adams playing great ball over there. Um, phenomenal ball at that. He's the only target. Uh, well, well, and he's and he's producing to be the only target. You know, they can't stop him. Uh, I don't know if if, if Bota can bring up that footage of the uh, um, Devontae Adams beating the Chiefs secondary. Wow. Two players at that. Two 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 players. That didn't that. Happen. Two players yeah. at that. Two players. He, he, beat, uh, he, beat the, he beat the cameraman up. No, 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 no. He beat two players. See, the Kim don't want to admit to the fact that Devontae Adams, you know, destroyed Kansas City. Help me. Joshua Williams said the same thing. Joshua Williams said the same thing. <laughs> You didn't so, shadow Joshua Williams. You know what so, I'm saying? So you you all on this guy, Vontae Davis. Come on. Just, 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 Devontae just, Adams. Devontae just, Adams. Just, just, uh, where you want to call him, Diva? But Ju- Justin, Justin Diva. Jefferson, okay. Justin Jefferson is out here clowning. He's out here doing damage on top of damage on top of damage. He's out here catching on people, doing them dirty, out there looking, making Rennie, making Rennie Moss numbers out there in the, in, in the Vikings territory out there with Kirk Cousins. You know what I mean? So, you Shout know, to Kirk with, Cousins, uh, a real quarterback. You know, I mean, then Tyree Kill, he goes over there to Miami and he's still putting up the, the big the targets, man, like the big numbers and what he it was is. doing here in the city. He most definitely so, is. All three of these guys, all four or five of these guys. Are we're talking three. about three. We're talking about three. No, 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 no. I ain't going to about the last two because they eat For the fans he's that's relevant. watching. Top three. Top three. For the fans, fans are watching. Nobody can see you twisting your dreads. But for the fans mm, are watching. Sir, okay, Hot Cheetos. We see we see five people here on this list, yeah. and we all we got we we got we see all we see the numbers on here. Okay. So Justin, Justin Jefferson is man like he came for LSU and he's out there like he's out there clowning. He got his hands on Madden. He's out there doing what he need to do. And, hey, hold on, real quick, real quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off, man. He came from an LS2, a LSU team. D, I'm gonna break it down for you too, D. Shut up. And the quarterback from the LSU. <laughs> The quarterback from that team was who? The quarterback from that team was who? Joe Burrow. Oh, right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Joe oh, Burrow, undefeated, three zero against the kingdom. No more. I don't care about Joe Burrow. Joe. Mighty Joe. Joe. Smoking no Joe. Kevin from Home Alone, looking like smoking Joe. Man, why the hate? Why the hate, bro? Why the hate, bro? I'm just giving facts. Kingdom. Is that what we doing, Kingdom? Is that what we doing, Kingdom? I'm giving facts, Kingdom. I don't understand the disrespect. I don't understand, Kingdom. And this was the guy that represents the Kingdom. But again, but serious note, you know what I mean? Justin Jefferson out there, he's doing what he need to do. Tyreek Hill's doing that. All these guys, all these guys up on three. um, Well, I give props to number two and number three on this list. Um, because both of them switch quarterbacks and switch teams. Both of them switch good quarterbacks for average quarterback. Um, so, well, well, real quick, guys, real quick, hence, real, real, real quick. Okay, the Vikings are playing today, and the number one guy on this list ain't looking too shabby. Thirty-three to zero. Best aside note. So I'm saying is this: 
Devontae Adams right now, the reason why I'm so keen in or keen on him, because that connection for him and Carr. It's that college one connection one. they got. The college connection they got. I heard you, but it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna ignore that. But if you look at it right now, Devontae Adams is playing lights out right now, and he can't be stopped in that division. Fine. He can't be stopped. Who can stop him? Hey, Hanson. Who can stop him, Hanson? Josh Williams. Reed. <laughs> uh Sneed. You, said Devontae, you, you talk about you talking about the Raiders. We we still on the Raiders, sir. The but, Raiders ain't but how the they Raiders, lose. But the how Raiders they lose making the playoffs. But how they lose against y'all? The Raiders ain't even making the playoffs. You talk about the Raiders. The Raiders, but what's the your defense, defense sir? They, but what's they your defense? Money. But what's it, but what's it was it your defense? It wasn't your defense that did it. <laughs> I put it like this. What's the defense? Like this. The Raiders gave up all their draft picks, right, to get yeah. Avante yeah. Adam. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But what about next year? The year after that, the Chiefs ain't gave up nothing but Tyree Kill and got more picks. Is leading the lead. What they got to do? Ain't gonna be beating y'all secondary and, down. Listen, 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 this is December. Listen, let this see again, December. They gave up, they gave up to the one of the top guys that's on this list, right? Tyree Kill, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Chiefs have the number one offense in the lead. How is that? Shout out to Andy Reid. Shout out to Andy Reid uh, and, the, and the good coaches. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you, you have a point. No, you, no, you D, said you, D, D, D now, D now. I know we're in December. I know, I know, I know we're in December, D. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Look at McDaniels came from. Uh, uh, New England, his first year, right? Andy Reid, we know he formatted, he pl- he planted. We know about Andy Reid, the coaching staff. <laughs> we know about the coaching staff, right? We know about the coaching staff. I get that. Y'all legendary with Kansas City. Kansas was legendary for bringing in mediocre quarterbacks and making them good, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you look at it right, right. now, that's, that's Daniel's first good. year, Derek Carr under Daniels and bringing in his boy, they're doing big things for him to be top three. Top three in the list. What is that? This big list on the offensive players. He beaten Kelsey. <laughs> He's beaten Kelsey and beating Stephon Diggs with his with his first time playing with quarterback since college. Let that sink in your spirit. Come Dre, on they don't have nobody else to throw it to but him. Went for oh, oh, okay, and so look at the that, prediction. Let, let that soak into your conditioning no, and your threads. The chief secondary cannot <laughs> stop him. The chief secondary cannot <laughs> stop that man. The reason why they lost against y'all because the damn the, the, the route was bad. Mm. Okay, the route was bad because no. Joshua Williams was on the bench, I believe. No, no, they, 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 they he was he was on the bench. He's, he's on the bench. But, but again, all these guys are great. They are except um, for that second of Kansas Jeff- City. Kansas City is not great. Justin Jefferson is great. Tyreek Hill is great. Vontae Adams is great. Stephon Diggs don't like him. Travis Kelsey. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. We, we would not throw salt on Stephon Diggs, man. man. That's cold blooded, man. I don't blooded, that in there like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cold blooded. I don't like nothing that got going this guy. Why? He looked like, he, he looked like the kid that backs back, uh, bounced a basketball or walk around in the hood. Just oh, throwing a ball you cold. Man. Hey, sound the alarm, D. Sound the alarm on that comment. Sound the alarm, man. <laughs> Sound the alarm when they come. I can't believe you said that. It's time to move. So what else you guys guys say about you? Go ahead and finish it out, Dre. Go ahead, Dre. We're going to go ahead and listen. Listen, 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 guys. I'm using some words of wisdom, guys. Words of wisdom. Devontae Adams is that guy. I'm sorry, AFC West. He's going to be a menace. Because there's nobody, nobody, there's nobody that can stop him. Even Patrick Sertan the second couldn't stop him. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what again? <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Hey, that's it. You. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all, all right, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Let's go right, ahead guys. and get it. Let's go ahead and move into bro. You wildin'. Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I who you got first on your list, D7? And first on the list, we got Bill Belichick. Go ahead and uh, watch that video for you. And another guy, David Ben, who was a long snapper because he was dating Pamela Anderson, and Bill thought the players would like seeing Pamela at the pool in Hawaii. She didn't come, but that's a cool Belichick story. So anyway, first practice which is like nothing. You just kind of like stretch, you mess around a little bit and you walk off the field. I'm coming off and, and I'm walking by Bill and he looks at me and he's like, he goes, Hey, where's your girlfriend? 
And uh, I said, oh, Pam, nah, she didn't come out. He goes, remind me why the f- I invited you out here then? Wow. <laughs> and he gave me this deadpan look. And I thought he was kidding, but he didn't crack a smile. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, wait, are you serious? Is he kidding? I just walked off like I couldn't figure it out. Like, you didn't say anything back to him? Um, I think I just laughed it off. And I was like, wait, what? you really wanted me to bring Pam? Shit, should I call her? <laughs> okay, guys. Bill is wilding for that because that's mad weird. That's weird. How are you guys feeling about what Bill did? Well, I, mean, I feel about it. I, I, I think I think um, Bill, like, as a lot of players around the league say, they play for Bill. Uh, you don't know if he when he's been serious or when he's joking. He's he's yeah. one of the best. He's one of the best coaches that ever, were ever coached, were whatever yeah, the best coach because it's not Andy Reid. You know when. when <laughs> What are oh, the best boy. coaches out there to ever do it with Tom Brady? Uh, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna let a Cardinals fan and where's a Chiefs at? <laughs> but, but Cardinals. again, yeah, again, Bill check maybe that's do sound off like dang, like you drafted me because of um, Pamela Anderson, you know? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it was, but I think that it was. I he should have backed it up. Man, let's cut the eggs. Man, let's cut the eggs. I take the sodium from the eggs, okay? That man know what he was doing. He gonna yeah. bring that man. Right? Let, let let that happen to me. Nah, Bill, she ain't coming. Nah, I'll try to use me for the to get a picture of my my fine lady. Nah, nah, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird though. That's that's hella perverted. And, uh... but, nah, maybe maybe he was joking like like hey, like like they said in the video like um um. Like Eli, like the Eli brothers said, uh, the Mandy brothers. I said Eli. The Mandy brothers said in the video, uh, that I think he was you know joking. What I, mean? I think he was joking too about Pamela Anderson wanting to bring them practice. I don't think, I don't, I don't think Bill was joking. I think he was. Joking. <laughs> I, was I mean, that would think about that though. Like if he were to, that's. I mean, I'm not saying this is wife, but to say something like that about your significant other. That's like that's somebody, you that's somebody you. Hint showed up to something. Hence, where's your wife? Well, why are you here then? Right. Hey, his voice. He was like, no, no, but, no. But, but for real, <laughs> he, he got a popular wife that he was married to back in the um, yeah. And we all know what she kind of was a symbol of. But I mean, still, um, I think it was it's okay. like it's like no, it's like somebody drafting a player that knows that that dreams his cousin. Right, dreams of cousin. His was like, oh man, <laughs> your cousin, your cousin coming, come to, to, yeah. uh, you know, his was like, nah, bro, I don't so want you, you over so here. December, so do, December, you just think he, he was just a fan of Pamela? Pamela yeah. Anderson. He just wanted yeah. to see her. That's what I. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. He does. But, he did want to see her. I what mean, because she, it's it's not like it's, she's nationally, globally, I guess, <clears throat> known being really pretty. So. I mean, it's not like it's a secret or. Like, why are you here? Take you. He's a taking lot, like a, a little people, dig at him or something. It's he did. A lot. Of, a lot of people watch. A lot of. A lot of people watch Baywatch because it hurt. I mean, yeah. I didn't. I watched it because of some good acting. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Dre, stop. Dre, you want to? Hey, D, D, come on, D. You didn't watch the Baywatch to watch these women swim. Yes. The, no, you're right. Bounce. No, to save the day. To save the day. I watched them swim to save to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to be a hero. Okay, Dre. I watched her watch the show to be a hero. Don't be rude. She's asking a question. Don't be rude. Seriously. Shout, shout to Donald Trump. But all, overall, I, my take is: I think, I think he was a joke, and he's probably one of those people that you can't tell when they. Because I have that sometimes. People can't tell when I'm joking or being serious. So Ooh. he probably just he's just like that. He's just like know. that. Now, it's just so you telling me now, me, my wife, everybody know, everybody know hands. It's Megan Good. If Megan Good, if I knew somebody Uh-oh. had Megan Good, hello. If I knew that somebody had Megan Good, and I'm like, hey, now look, where's Megan at? Why is she? Man, you gonna go upside? She gonna go upside your head with a shoe? She gonna go upside your head with a shoe? You better stop that. You better stop that. Where's Megan? You know, I I I ask the question. Here comes that shoe. Megan, you show up. Oh man. Oh, stop. Knock that head off it. I hear the sound. Hey, look. 
think. I just think. <laughs> on the series, though, no, I think he was just joking, like bringing. Yeah. Like, I do too. Uh, but again, man, I, if I ever play, got a chance to play, I would want to play for Bill. I, I would too. Yeah. I would too. Shout, yeah, shout too. to Bill, um, a fantastic defensive coach. Sure can't coach on offense, but that's um, not that's another story. Let's go ahead and move into the next. On uh, next on my docket, I have Bryce Carpenter. Now go. What, what is the so, Bryce Carpenter? Do? So Coastal Carolina backup quarterback, backup quarterback Bryce Carpenter was arrested on Sunday in South Carolina. The 23-year-old was accused of slamming a woman to the ground when she allegedly refused his sexual advances according to the police in Horry County. He was charged with third-degree assault and battery. He was released on a $2,500 bond the same day. (sighs) Carpenter was at a party when he allegedly tried to grab a woman but was pulled away from her by other partygoers, according to WBTW-TV. The woman reportedly tried to talk to Carpenter again, but he allegedly made another advance. After she pushed him away, she told police he picked her up and slammed her down to the sidewalk. According to police, the woman suffered swelling on the back of her head and other minor injuries. Carpenter told police he didn't go to any parties and was home the entire time. Mm. <sighs> Boy, that's crazy. I don't know how they got him in the photo shop then. <laughs> I mean, the injuries don't lie. I mean, unless it know. wasn't me. Was that you on the corner? It wasn't me. Well, look at him, though. You, you can tell he did it. it you can me. tell he did it, bro. Look at his face. You know he got caught. He looked crazy. He do. And he's just a. He's a backup. He's hey, a backup. no D. Listen, he wants some respect. He wants okay. some respect, and she can give it to him. She said, and "What?" He thought that was gonna get he him there. Like... Hey, he's too <laughs> silly. Now look at him, though. He looked frustrated. I put, like, I put it like this, yeah. man. You you throw a woman on the ground because she didn't want to give you no sexual favors. You a screw up. You don't need to be on nobody's team. You don't need to be well, on I don't even think it was she. Didn't, it was other people that were pulling her away from him. It wasn't even necessarily her. And then she went and tried to go back and like kind of rectify the situation. And he did the same thing her again. Fault. Her so fault. he threw her on the ground again. No, her at fault. first he, when he first approached her and tried it tried grabbing her her other friends party goers there kind of moved him away and then she went back and tried to kind of rectify the situation and he tried grabbing her again hey that was her fault and uh, and again that was on um that, i think that was on them like i break it down like why like yeah. it don't make sense it's two sides to every story that it's two sides to every story yeah For but real. he shouldn't have been it, it, either way his advances sound like they were kind of aggressive so she, he should, she he said, should not he started it she he said, started. she said, that's why, that's why you never make the team. <laughs> <laughs> the other party guard is like, he's a nobody. He's a Boom, get away from him. You guys want a backup quarterback? You need a backup quarterback. <laughs> so, so even though all after all, like yeah. when I, when I got a picked up on the key point, what she was reading, all the witnesses there, and then yeah. and they all pointed at him, and he said that it still wasn't him. Yeah, said that he was at home. I'm at home. I don't know what y'all talking about. I mean, I, I was watching Netflix. So oh. it, it goes on to further say that Coastal Carolina University student Bryce Carpenter has been suspended indefinitely from all football related activities. Man, listen, so, that, that was him. Come on, man, dude, cut cut the mess, bro. That was you. Yeah. you He's just, just a caught. crazy college kid. Just you just you mad because you ain't gonna PT Eco-tripping. time. Nah, he, yeah. he ain't gonna PT time. Ain't y'all hot find the hottest they're chick rapists. out there? They're rapists. He y'all find the hottest chick Very out there. Rapey. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, listen, listen. Hopefully, he can date her and get and make a starting team. Dating this hot chick, maybe I can get on the team. Be first, <laughs> maybe I can be a starter by me Man, dating her. I feel, I feel like this: these, these football players, basketball players, whatever sport you in, are male. Need to be male figures, man. In, in these in these college and uh, high programs and taking these high roles, they need to have something to program it where these guys can learn learn how to approach women. Um, because yeah, that needs to be like a like a like a course or some sort. Like yeah, if you approaching women like this, bro, on that type of time, then yeah, I don't want you nowhere near my facility, nowhere in my near my team, nowhere yeah. near my culture. They right, they have books for that mm-hmm. with, with with how to communicate with women. They should p- definitely give that to the players because yeah. it happens I, I too agree. often. 
But I agree. But now, let, let's not keep going at these players. They got these women too. The cheerleaders, they be trying them. You know, I mean, they need a book too. Not cheerleader. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know. Too? I know what you're saying, Dre. But he can't go grabbing. Like you can't just put your hands on right. women because right. it doesn't matter what you think. Bro, <laughs> come on, man, bro. If that woman come at me, attack me. You know these groupies is real. They These guys take you back up now. They, 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 hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate listen, 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 listen. I hate the fact that if a player gets in trouble, it's the player's fault. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a domestic abuse, domestic violence, it's the player's fault. You know what I'm saying? Why not the person he's dealing with? Because the player is usually the aggressor. Why? Because on that note, on that note. Moving on to the next topic, we have Draymond Green. Scan the QR code to learn more and pick up your Google Pixel today. Draymond Green pointing to a fan that was, was the same fan he was talking to on the other end of the floor. And I think he is alerted James Capers, the crew chief. And I'm not exactly sure there is. A police officer down in that area. He's mad. I bet he is. He, you see that score? 85 to 64. He'd be mad too. Well, James Capers getting with security here. That's embarrassing. What, what, what did they say to you? Uh, some threatening stuff to my life. So. You know, um, I was this close to really going back and like diving all the way in. Time just went back and told nah. the official. Yeah. And when I told the official what he said, he's what he told him. Police! Police! Help! Police! That's the right thing to do. I mean, That's the right my- thing to do. And I can't believe some of the comments I've seen of people trying to say that he overreacted. Um, I can say both because when a player is losing, they get frustrated and they take their anger on fans sometimes. I ain't just dread my green. We never stayed when Steven Jackson and, and the Patriots went at it with Detroit. He fought the whole audience. He dived into the ice and was fight. He fought the audience. But what I'm saying is this. It happens, man. You know, but like I said, people are gonna talk. Ignore it. Let yeah, that but you can't, you can't say anything threatening. I mean, some of you gotta say. You know, some of those uh, fans they go too far, Dre. I mean, they but for real. Far. But listen, listen, listen. Like, you can't tell a fan what not to say. It's a fan. Fan gonna check. The fans gonna hack. Gonna hack with your own. It's, 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 don't put your hands on me. Don't do not put your okay, hands. Okay, what he should have done is hackled from way far away, yeah. and not sitting right there. You know in the Oh, it, it says it, it says that in the um guidelines when you go buy a ticket, you know, yeah. Chiefs stay in the Royals game. What did it say? In, in, in the major events that you can't be out there running on the field, running on the court, passing players. Comments. Are yeah. you or make, making threatening comments? Or you will be removed from the game. Man, well, I went to a Chiefs man. It That's, a that. That's a lot. That's a lot because I went to a Kingdom. I went to a Chiefs game and I got heckled. I got, yeah, I got the guy, threatened. The guy said, I'm, 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 "Do you have a?" Do you do you have a tweet or a video of what the guy said? No, the guy. No, I I, I seen it in the in the comments. I I didn't yeah. pull it up. Put it in here. Okay. So, uh, so 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 you're telling said, me? Wait 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 wait. you yeah, telling me oh, all this money? That's what the guy said. The guy said is the, what the guy said. Okay. Is that he told the guy that he told Javon Green that uh, <clears throat> uh that we giving you a pass in a community. Yeah. We all know what that means. They get some money. No, I, I get your threat. But listen, all this money I'm making, and I'm worried about what this guy telling me. All this money I'm making, you think I'm worried about this guy? It happens all the time. That's why you. That's why you see people going to our, our um, what's his name, our test, going in the stands, beating up fans. Well, yeah. that's his. People, people be saying stuff they ain't got no business. But, saying, but, but he handled it the right way. Though he did no, no, he didn't go hit him. He didn't go stupid. Why, his why, he just had him removed. Why, why? You see it. You see it. You see it at the uh, these little league games. These parents be taking it serious. Yeah. And you, it happened at your game too. You know, back in your day, Dre, when you, your sons was playing, y'all remember you saying these these fans, they, they, these um, parents was going hard at these at the uh, 
the people on the field and right. stuff about to crack off. That's that's how it happened. So that's why but, the NFL, NBA, and all these major sports made that rule that if you on the sideline hassling, you can pay all that money, you gonna get thrown out. But you know what, guys? Yeah, y'all make a valuable point. But let's break down Draymond Green. He's been doing that now. Now we're not gonna sit here and he's innocent because he punches oh, yeah. he punches God in the face. He punches God in the face now. Now he won't make no assumption. He punched Poo in the face. <laughs> now that's your player. You don't you don't put your hands on that. We want Come on now. We want to We got we got a. Hey. Uh, uh, just... It was it was a uh, great show. Uh, Give me one sided shoe. Man, love to talk. So with, with that said, guys, I'm we want to keep talking. Care. Watch it, guys. Uh, For the secondary is sorry. The chief secondary is sorry. All right, guys. We out. Don't you mute my mic, sir. <laughs>